let's go ahead and lie down on the back. And bring your lower back into a flat back position. So you're going to go ahead into a pelvic tilt here so that the back is nice and flat. And let's go ahead and curl up into a crunch. Okay, so remember that the crunch is a lift in the upper spine. It's not just lifting up the head. Okay, so we engage the abdominals to roll the chest and the upper spine slightly off the mat. Let's get the arms nice and long. And we'll just do a little stabilization exercise first. Reach the arms overhead. And then exhale as you reach the arms forward. Inhale the arms overhead. Exhale the arms forward. So we're trying to maintain the very flat back position. And try not to strain the neck too much. If the neck begins to strain too much, come up a little higher. Get into the abdominals a little bit more. And with practice, the neck muscles will strengthen and you'll be able to hold yourself up for a little longer. Good, now let's hold. And let's go ahead and add on. So we're going to bring the right knee into the chest. And when the arms reach overhead, the right leg's going to extend. And then it's going to bend. We're going to inhale here and exhale here. And the entire time, we want to make sure that we keep the back nice and flat. The leg activates. It's nice and long. Exhale on the way in. Inhale and exhale. So the entire time you're stabilizing the spine and the hips and you're breathing. We'll do three more and two more and one more and then let's go ahead and go to the other leg. So now the left knee bends in. We reach the arms overhead, extend the left leg and exhale it back in. Lengthen the left leg Lengthen the arms. Avoid bending the elbows. Arms are nice and long. Also, avoid letting the head fall back. And avoid allowing the shoulders to fall. So we want to stabilize the spine. We'll do two more. And one more. And let's bring both knees into the chest. So we're going to add on to that, working our way to the double knee stretch. So we're going to pick up the feet a little bit. We come up in a crunch. And let's inhale the arms and the legs up. And exhale back in. Inhale up. Exhale back in. So again, the spine and the hips are stable. And the abdominals are working to pull. We'll do five more like that. So for now, we're just bending and straightening the legs up to the ceiling. And the same thing with the arms. Now, take the arms and reach them behind you like you did before. So the legs continue to go straight up, but the arms go back by the ears and then exhale back in. The legs go straight up, the arms go back, exhale back in. Inhale and exhale. Now you can rest the neck whenever you need to. Continue. Inhale deeply, exhale deeply. We'll do three more. And two. And one. And now for more challenge, you go on ahead and you bring the legs down about halfway. Watch the back. So this is where the lower back wants to arch. And we want to make sure that we keep the scoop. Inhale, exhale. So remember, we keep arms straight. Also, we want shoulder blades down. We don't want the shoulders to come up. We don't want the head to fall back. We don't want the spine and the shoulders to lower. So everything stays in exactly the same position, and the only thing that's moving are the arms and the legs. We'll do three more, and two. And we can go on ahead and hold on one, and come back in and release. So let's place that in. We're working towards our basic Pilates, basic mat Pilates. Let's put that in there in addition to the other exercises, which we have already addressed in previous videos. So feel free to go and um, for more detail, watch some of the older videos. So let's go ahead and come up and crunch for the hundred and begin to pump the arms. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then a deep breath out through the mouth. Continue to pump the arms. So this is a very beginner level. This is a more intermediate. And this is advanced 
and a little bit more advanced. Continue to breathe. So the goal here is five pumps on the inhale and five pumps on the exhale. And we do that 10 times, and that's your 100 pumps. Three more deep breaths. And every, as usual, we want to stabilize everything. One more deep breath. Head down. Keep the back flat. Release the right leg down. Left leg down. Feet are flexed. Back is flat. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, roll up. Inhale down. Back flat. Exhale, roll up. Inhale down. Exhale up. So again, we've done these in the previous videos. Feel free to go and look for modifications and more on the form. Go back and check out those videos. Exhale up. Inhale down. Keep the movement as controlled as possible. Exhale. And then let's go ahead and stay down. Keep the pelvis tucked. Take the right leg up. If the leg is straight, go ahead and put it in a rotation. And go ahead and make the small circles. And as usual, your focus is on stabilizing the hips and the spine. So the only thing that should be moving is your leg. And what's stabilizing are your abdominals. Go ahead and circle the other way. Exhale on the way up. Keep the leg as long as possible. Keep breathing. And release the right leg down. Take the left leg up. Circle. And try to cross central line with the leg if possible. Try to cross the central line, but do not rock the hips. So a lot of abdominal work to hold. Circle the other way. That's where the ab work is in holding the hips. Good, hold. Bring the knees into the chest. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, roll up for a rolling like a ball. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Stay as tough as possible and as controlled as possible. Two more. One more. Then roll down, stay down, single knee changes. And now the double knee stretch. Both knees come in. Inhale, open, exhale, come in. So this is the one we just addressed today. And after this, we have one more exercise to put in, and we will have the complete beginner mat. Bring the knees into the chest. Roll up. And sit up nice and straight. So again, just take your time to learn how to go into your scooped position and maintain your flat back position. And practice every day, and you'll get there in no time. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, release. See you next time.